The Pasca A project was fully negotiated by the state negotiation team without any involvement of politicians. Minister for Petroleum Karengakua clarified this during the announcement of the benefits sharing of the Pasca A project in Port Mosby recently. He said the SNT was composed fully by nationals without expatriate advisors. Minister Kua added that the same also was demonstrated by Twinza Oil Limited, where PNG nationals took full control of the negotiations. You may got all Papua New Guinea team representing the state in that negotiation and all Papua New Guinea team representing Twinza side. It's a first and it's something to be proud about. I'm really proud of that because it's an all Papua New Guinea affair. I think part of the underlying reason why we've done well is because it's Papua New Guinea on both sides. Minister Kua further pointed out that the next step is to ensure that the process leading to the gas agreement signing takes place swiftly to meet the timeline of tentative date for signing on July 29, 2021. People will look at our deal and wonder whether we've done the right thing here in Pasca. Uh, but there's always space in the future for those people who feel that if there can be improvement, must also improve upon where we have reached now. So for the time being, uh, comparatively, PNG was at 45% nominal, uh, our PNG gas project. Uh, Papua LNG was at 51% nominal. Now Pasca is at 55% nominal, so there's growth. Prime Minister James Marape also said the same sentiments and acknowledged the effort put forward by the state negotiating team. We ensure that our entitlements by lower cities today is not compromised by crafted weddings that have deduction going to a net earning instead of a gross earning. Law says earning 2%, we earn 2% at a gross. And so those were clear instructions we pass on to the state negotiating team under Minister Karenga Kua's watch. Freddie Mo, TV One News.